Right, um... I'm 80% sure I, I had this in, in my house when I was a child. The, uh, the, the, the front cover of it looks, look, look, looks more than vaguely familiar. I won't say 100% that I had that. The, 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 the other one, but they had the Dr. Annual from 1976 that, they, that I did a review of. I'm 101% sure that um, I, 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 had, I had that when I was a child. But this, if I, I, if, um, I'm more or less sure I had this. Because the, the front cover of it looks familiar. Anyway, it's a Dr. Annual 1978. And they've got it off eBay, and it stars Tom Baker as Doctor Who. Authorised edition, I've seen on BBC TV. And that's the back of it there, that's Mr Baker. The Doctor Who on your 1978, there's a barcode of it there. That there, the, the, that that looks familiar. The the, the, uh, the the drawings in it looks familiar. Look familiar. Pictures in it look familiar. Well, couldn't really call them drawings. Pictures. Problems, problems. Observing the stars. It isn't that the, these annuals are not. They're not all science fiction. There's a bit of science fact in them as well. That 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 looks. I think that 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 looks familiar. That picture there, or drawing, whatever you could call it. That that Pinocchio character there with a the big nose. That looks familiar. Mythical monsters. Mm -hmm. That 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 man hasn't washed her hair for fifteen years. <laughs> um. Yeah, but there's another game, little game there, a race against time. That's something that you play with. Dice or something, I don't know what it is. Sons of Time Us. This, this looks familiar here, the rival, ro rival robot. Pictures that you look familiar. Them characters with big noses, they look familiar as well. That, that there, that looks familiar. I think I had that, I think I think I, I think I did have this when I was a child. That there, you see, that big nose, carrot, big, big carrot nose. <sighs> big, um... Big vegetable nose. Observing orbiting telescope. One of the greatest pro problems, 
facing scientists who were trying to explore and observe the vast areas of outer space is our own atmosphere. It throws a sort of blanket around the Earth and even with very powerful and specialised telescopes observations are made through a dim, distorting mist mistiness. Scientists in America think that they have come up with something that will solve this problem. If you can't make detailed observations through the atmosphere, why not make them from above? With this idea in mind, plans have been made to place a powerful telescope in orbit above the Earth's atmosphere so that clear and accurate information about the far reaches of space may be gathered. The orbited telescope will be carried above the atmosphere by a spaceship, then it will set to work, beaming back clear pictures to Earth of what the skies are really like, and, part, and gathering more information than a telescope on Earth could even hope to do. These pictures here will spot the difference. Can you spot the difference between those two pictures there? I can see one difference, at least. And I'll take a... do one of that and... Now, can you, can you spot how many differences there are? That's something you... The, the sea of faces. Yeah, I'm nearly sure I, I had this. I had this annual when I was a child. The, the the other one, I can remember it clearly. The one from 1976. What's this here? Escape from the Great Volcano. After performing a delicate heart operation on the a living planet Mor Morbia, the doctor finds he isn't able to dematerialise de its hardest. Trapped in the circulation of the green blooded giant from the Tatki ta ta solar system, the doctor knows that his only way to escape without damaging the patient is through one of the volcanoes that erupt on its surface spilling green fluid into the atmosphere and feeding the crops of the parasitic humanoids living there. To trigger off such an eruption, the doctor must stimulate one of the ex expulsory nerve centres found at intervals along Morbius outer bloodstream, but he must hurry for inadvertently his, his giant patient is beginning to, to digest him. Help, help, help the doctor escape the, the many super green volcanoes by playing this game. Players work, work their, their way along the circulation until they reach the outer stream. But when a pet player leads, lands on the its expulsory nerve centre, a square with a diamond in it, he must on his next go throw the number indicated inside the diamond to escape. If he does not, he must continue around the outer circle, players landing on squares with crosses on, on, mu on, on must double their next throws. Players landing on a square containing the dot must go back to the start. The winner is the first player to escape from Morbius or a green volcano. So that's an interesting looking game, isn't it? Anyway, um, if you're a keen Doctor Who fan, this is the annual for you.